Hello students, today we're going to model subtraction of integers using a distance or direction model on a number line and also a chip model. Both of these models were used while adding integers, so today we're going to explore how we can use them to subtract integers. Take a second, write down this learning target and essential question in your C notes, and then we'll continue. Welcome back. Our first example is Otis and LaToya. Otis earned $5 babysitting. He owes LaToya 7. He pays her the 5. The problem is he doesn't have any more to pay her. So we're going to look, examine how we can show this using a chipboard. Otis starts out with $0. He has nothing. Then he babysits and he earns $5. We're going to represent those $5 using these five positive chips. Now, he owes the Toya $7, so we've got to take away $7 from his 5. Yeah, immediately you see that's not possible. So what can we do to give him more positive chips to give to LaToya? We can't allow him to babysit more because that would be changing the problem. He only earned $5 babysitting. The only thing we can do is to borrow zero pairs. Remember, a zero pair is a positive and a negative together because their value is zero. We can use them. They do not affect the value on the chipboard. He still has only five positive chips here because these two chips equal zero. So we're going to borrow one more zero pair. As you can see now, he has seven positives that he can use to give to LaToya. Those seven positive chips he can give to LaToya and he's left with two negative chips. The value of these two negative chips is of course negative two. Let's try to show this using a number line also. Otis starts off with zero dollars before he babysits. He then earns five dollars. That puts him at positive five on the number line. If he has to take away or give Latoya seven dollars, he's going to end up going all the way back to zero plus two more past zero to negative two to subtract those positive seven dollars that he has to give LaToya. So his remaining balance, what, he, what his value is, is negative two. Take a second to, uh, no, I'm sorry. We're going to show the next examples in your C notes. So that's my mistake. Let's go to the following example. Take a second to write this example into your C notes. Positive 8 minus positive 12. And then we'll demonstrate this using a chipboard and two different number lines. Okay. We start out with eight positive chips. So we're going to bring down eight positive chips. It's four. Six, seven, and eight. As you can see, we need to take away 12 positive chips. Well, I don't have 12 positive chips to take away, so we're going to do like we used with Otis. We're going to borrow zero pairs. A positive and a negative together make that zero pair. I can do that because it's not changing the value on the board at all but it's allowing me to get the positives that I need to take away. So now I can take these 12 positive chips that I'm needing right here and take them away. And I'm left with a value of negative four. Now let's try this on two different 
number lines. We're going to use the difference model. First, we're going to find the difference of positive 8 and positive 12. So I put both numbers on the number line, positive 12, positive 8. And I'm trying to find the difference or the distance between these two numbers. How far is it between 8 and 12 on the number line? It is 4, and our result is negative 4. I'm not going to tell you how we know it's negative 4. What I want you to do throughout this exercise is I want you to examine the way that the examples are written, what's happening on the difference model, and then try to determine a pattern or how you can identify whether it's going to be positive or negative. And that's what we want you to come to class with to share with everyone else, is how you can tell whether this difference model will be positive or negative. Now let's try the takeaway model. So again, it's like we did with Otis. He starts with zero dollars. We go to positive eight. Now we've got to take away positive 12. I'm going to go back to the zero, that's eight. Four more would give us 12. I meant negative four by subtracting positive 12. Take a minute, pause the video, make sure you've got this all copied into your C notes, and make sure you're working on understanding the models and how they work. Now let's move on to example two. Example two is a positive three subtracting a negative four. A little bit different than what we've done so far. Let's explore this one. We're going to begin with three positive chips from the positive three in our expression. Now we need to take away four negative chips. I don't have any four, I don't have any negative chips, so I need to find a way to get four negative chips. If you said use a zero pair, you'd be correct, because again, I can add as many zero pairs as I need to get the negative chips that I need to take away. Now you see I have four negative chips that I can remove from my chipboard. And I'm left with seven positive chips. Using the difference model, we're again going to find the difference or the distance between positive 3 and negative 4. As you can see, there should be a 0 in the middle of there. What is the distance between negative 4 and positive 3? Well, from negative 4 to 0, we have 4. From 0 to 3, we have 3. So we have a difference of 7, and it will be a positive 7. Now let's try the takeaway model. Takeaway model, we start at zero. We're going to go first to positive three. And now we're going to take away negative four. Take away negative four. And my result will be positive seven. Two more examples. Example three, negative five minus positive three. This time we're taking a positive integer away from a negative integer. So we're going to start out with five negatives, as you can see by our first number in expression. There are my five negatives. I need to take away three positives. Again, I don't have three positives to take away. All I have is one, two, three, four, five negatives. So what can I do to get positives to be able to take them away? I can borrow the zero pairs. The zero pairs are very useful to get whatever I need to be able to take away what the expression is asking me to take away. Now I can remove those three positives off the board and my value 
is negative 8. Using the difference model, the difference from negative 5 and positive 3. Positive 3, negative 5, there's a 0 in the middle there. So we can, that will help us find the distance between positive 3 and negative 5. You can see here it's 5, from the 5 to the 0, and from the 0 to the 3, 3, for a distance of 8, negative 8 is the difference between positive 3 and negative 5. Using the takeaway model, start at 0. This time I'm going to negative 5 first, because it's the first number in the expression. And I'm going to take away a positive 3. Take away positive 3. And my result will be negative 8. Make sure you're getting these examples recorded into your C notes. We've got one more example left. Example 4. Different than the, other, the previous three, we are subtracting two negative integers. Negative 4 minus negative 7. So I'm going to start out with four negatives. And I've got to try to take away seven negatives. Well, I've only got four, so the only way I can make that happen is by borrowing some zero pairs. How many zero pairs do I need to borrow to give myself seven negatives to take away? So right, it would be three. I take these seven negatives, take them off the board. My remaining value is positive three. Using the difference model, to find the difference between negative 7 and negative 4. This time the 0 is over here, so it's not going to come into play. The distance between negative 7 and negative 4 is 3, and it is positive. Using the takeaway model, start at 0. I'm going to first go to negative 4. And I'm going to take away negative 7. Take away negative 7. And that leaves me at positive 3 as my result. Again, just a reminder while you're doing especially the difference model and the takeaway model, see if you can find a pattern between how you know it's a positive or negative difference and also how you know which direction you're going on the number line if you're subtracting a positive integer or subtracting a negative integer. This will be the first thing we ask you when you come into class tomorrow. Thank you.